Hey everyone, how's it going? Grizzly Bear here with another gameplay commentary, and today not playing Team Fortress 2, instead we are playing The Legend of Korra, which is a video game based on the Nickelodeon series of the same name. If you guys have ever seen Avatar The Last Airbender, this is kind of the next installment in the Avatar series. And the last episode of Korra premiered last Friday, and I've been following the series, you know, throughout the last few seasons watching it every Friday because that's when they would upload the video onto the Nickelodeon website. And when you're so invested in a series like this, you know, you care about the characters and what's going on in the world and you make it part of your routine. Every Friday you sit down, you put aside that time to watch the series, you know, see how the characters and the story progress and it just becomes part of your life. And when something that you've been watching for so many weeks ends, it's, you know, it's a little sad. You don't really know what to do with your time. You've got that extra slot of time that you've dedicated every single Friday to, and you go, you know, what What am I supposed to do with this time now? So, basically, I just wanted to kind of revisit the world, revisit the characters of this series, and there was this game out. I saw it. It was kind of fun. It was on sale. I said, why not? Let's try it. See what happens. Unfortunately, you don't really get to revisit the characters. Mako and Bolin are at the beginning for a little bit before they're kind of just cast off to the side. And then you do also see the triad members and the reskin triad members. But who really cares about those guys, you know? It doesn't really matter. They're just generic enemies. And you also do get to see a bit of Janora because she's like your spirit guide or something in this game. But other than that, you don't really see anyone else. So, that's a little disappointing. The actual world you're playing in isn't accurate to the series, it's just kind of a rehashed imagining of the city and the world around it. But, you can't really complain about that. This isn't a AAA game or anything like that, it's just a budget title, you know, kind of strung together for the fans. So, it's a pretty fun game overall, and I did enjoy it. It was pretty short, but, you know, like I said, only 10 bucks, so I do feel like I got my money's worth out of it. But let me kind of explain the story for you guys really quick. This is set in between series 2 and 3. And all it really is, is you start off, you get struck with some needles, and you lose your ability to bend. So you go through the story as Korra, and you have to fight to regain your bending abilities. One by one, you go water, earth, fire, and then air. And then at the end, you know, you have all of them. And really, that is what makes this game fun, is being able to use those bending abilities. That's what makes the game unique, that's what makes it different from any other fighting game out there. And really, the controls are pretty smooth, the camera system and targeting system a little bit wonky, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's manageable. And I made it through the entire game, it's pretty fun. I'm probably gonna go back through, play it through on a harder difficulty, I just went through on normal, and once you pass that, you get like an expert mode. So I'm gonna try and go back through that because it is a lot of fun being able to control all the elements at once, switch between them freely, and I think that part of the game, the fighting system and the elements and the bending, I think that part of the game is really well designed. I think the fighting system is very good. The story, a little bit of a letdown. The world, a little bit of a letdown. The enemies, a little bit of a letdown. But the fighting system in place is actually very good. And at the end of the game, you actually do get to enter the avatar state and just go completely crazy on a bunch of enemies, and that's extremely fun. So, I would recommend this game if you do enjoy these kind of beat-em-up games where you fight through enemies over and over again, where you can use different combinations, and being able to switch between the elements really makes it, you know, enjoyable and unique. However, if you don't like that kind of game, and you do love the series, you could live without it. Don't go into this game expecting a fully fleshed out story mode or anything like that. Just kind of take it for what it is and I don't think you'll be disappointed. No, going into it that there isn't really a story. It's just you being the avatar fighting different enemies with the elements. And if you go into it with that kind of mindset, I think you'll come out feeling like you got your money's worth. And for those of you who would like to revisit the world and characters, the best way to do that would just be to rewatch the series. That's what I'm doing right now. Went on to Amazon, bought a couple of the seasons on there, and I'm currently re-watching all of those. So that's really the best way to revisit the world and the characters, the story, is just to re-watch the series. <laughs> so that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Let me know what you think about this format of video. I don't really plan on doing any more reviews like this, but I just love the Avatar series so much, and this game came out. I wanted to play it, I wanted to get a video out on it for you guys to see, and maybe if you have been watching Korra, you know, kind of 
fill that space in your heart this Friday. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you all later. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention this awesome part of the game, which uh, is like a Temple Run ripoff. And I failed this part like 50 times. But uh, let's look past that. And let me just say this is the most annoying part of the game, and I did finally beat it. So, thank you guys for watching. Talk to y'all later. Have a good one. This is Heavy Weapons Guy. Thank you for watching Grizzly Berry. Now click that little red.